Hello everyone, welcome to AB Animation Studios. Today we are going to create this. Please do check our recent uploads in our channel. If you like it please hit that subscribe button, and press the bell icon. So you won't miss any video. Before start, please watch the complete video, so you won't miss some important tips and tricks. Let's start now. I have downloaded the world map, and traced it in illustrator. For tracing, please check the i card above. If you want the same illustration file, you can download the file from the link in description. I have already imported the AI file in After Effects, by dragging. Now create a comp by dragging the Illustrator file into this icon. Or click this icon to create a comp. This is my settings. Click OK. Now drag and drop the map AI file into the comp like this. Scene is ready. First I will show you, how to work with this effect. And then we will create the same video, which I showed in the beaning. Please follow the complete tutorial. Search CC Sphere in effects and preset. and drag and drop on the world map layer. See our world is ready now. Lots of options are there in CC Sphere. You can increase the size of the sphere by adjusting this radius value. Next light option is there and shading is there. You can explore this things. Now this globe looks like 3D. So we need to do some adjusting in shading values to make more flat style look. To do that, change the ambient from 10 to 100. And then make this diffuse 0. See, it will look like flat style design. And then you can make other things to 0. Because of more ambient, light values will not work. If you worked in Cinema 4D, or in any 3D software, you may know the reason. And a quick question. Do you guys need Cinema 4D tutorial? Please let me know in the comment box below. Ok, we'll move to the next step. And one more thing. You can move this globe with the help of offset also. And then you can rotate it by this values. Now I will show you, how to do 360 degree rotation animation in simple steps. Click this icon by holding the ALT key. Now type this code here. Time 100. Check the animation. See it's too easy. If you want to reduce the speed, reduce the value in the place of 100. For example, give 50. This is basic animation. I will show you, how to animate in loop. Please follow the steps. If you want to remove the expression, again press the stopwatch by holding the ALT key. And create a keyframe. Set the keyframes for in and out. Adjust value to make rotation animation. I just copied and pasted the starting position, to loop the animation. 
Now we'll check the animation flow. Ok there is a problem. It's rotating in wrong direction. Just change this value to positive. See now it's working fine. I will trim this work area. So we can check the loop. Check the animation. Perfectly working. Now select all keyframes, and apply easy ease. Select a keyframe, and go to graph editor. If you want to learn more, please check the i-card above, to see the complete tutorial on graph editor. Now I am going to test the animation flow, by changing the curve of the keyframes. Please check different types of curve to get more fluid output. Ok. Now we'll add some pointers and text into the globe, before that pre-comp this layer. And select the first option in this window. This will be a reference like, how this will work. If you know about this please skip to next part, which is detailed one. See this will display like this. You can add anything to highlight or display your information. Now we'll move into the complete guide to create this animation. I am continuing from the pre-comp part. Please follow. I am going to create a circle with the help of ellipse shape tool. To do the animation, go to scale, and adjust the value. Then open stroke width and keyframe the values. See we got some burst effect. Adjust the keyframe, and apply easy ease, F9, and adjust the curve in graph editor. Now it looks good. To add the pointer, duplicate the same circle, remove stroke width animation, we don't want in this element, and reduce the size of the circle. Change fill to color and check the animation.
copy and paste the starting keyframe. Check the animation, again and again. Now go to graph editor, and change this curve. Looks good and fluid. Adjust your keyframes. When you check the animation again and again, you will get more ideas, and explore your ideas. If it works, please go ahead. We'll check once in our main comp. Now we'll create a small pointer. Again duplicate the layer. And change the scale value. And delete this out animation keyframe. and adjust the curve in graph editor. Now we'll add the line pointer. Draw a line with the help of pen tool. If you want to adjust the line position, select pen tool, and adjust the point in line. Now we'll add trim path animation. Select the layer and add trim path from this place. Animate end value to make revel the stroke from the point. Apply easy ease. And adjust the curve in graph editor. Check the animation. If you feel it need more adjustment, please do it. Now we'll add the text, type your text. For decode effect. Go to effects and preset. And go to animation preset, then text, then animation in. Then select decoder fade in. Drag and drop on the text layer. Text animation looks slower. Press U, then adjust the keyframe to fasten up. Now go to main comp and check the animation. Looks perfect. Now we'll animate the globe. Create keyframe in Y axis. No need to follow the same value. You can do as your wish. Go to map pre-comp. 
we have to create out animation also, so we just extend the frames by increasing the comp timing. Extend the frames. Adjust the pointers, and text layer, so it won't be cut, when start animation is happening. What I am going to do is, it will be fast in the beginning, slow in the middle, and again it will end faster. Check the animation, to confirm the position of animated elements. Select all keyframes, and apply easy ease. Go to graph editor, adjust the curve. Now animate the position of offset. Create a keyframe, and adjust the value of the offset. Apply Easy Ease. Adjust the curve in Graph Editor, and check the animation. Looks good. To extend the timeline right click, and go to comp settings and adjust the duration. Extend the layer. Create a keyframe in offset, and do the out animation. Rotate the globe according to the offset animation. Adjust the curve in graph editor. Trim the comp. Now check the animation. Adjust the curve in graph editor. Adjust the keyframe to make smooth animation. Looks perfect, so we have completed the animation, render it and use it in your videos. That's it for today. We will catch up in the next video, please do watch our recent uploads in our channel and keep supporting us, stay positive, stay safe. With lots of love, AB Animation Studios.